As he got older, Pierce found it hard not having his father in his life. In my teens, I thought about my dad a lot. I was bullied in school, always felt out of place. The one thing that always made me feel good was that the picture I had of my dad, I looked the exact same as him, and I just always thought, oh, oh, I look like you. I'm so happy that there's someone out there I'm like. I felt like I belonged, and I felt like I wanted to find him and tell him you made me feel good about myself without even doing anything. You know, just being you made me feel good about being me. The last known address Pierce had for his dad was in Manhattan 20 years ago. But the rumor that Pierce had heard about him was that he'd been ill. So that made the search for him even more urgent. Without Eddie's date of birth, it wasn't going to be easy. We began by searching through records in America for an Edelson Santos of about the right age, but drew a blank. Then we looked again at the birthday card that Edelson sent Pierce, and he mentions that he was born on the 9th of the month, but doesn't specify which month. Could this tiny clue help crack the search? We gave this information to an investigator on the ground in the States. They couldn't find anyone with the exact name Edelson Santos, but there was a definite contender. A man called Jose Edelson Santos, born on the 9th of January and still living in New York. This was our only lead, so we wrote to him. Within days, our phone lit up with messages. We'd found Pierce's dad. Now age 62, single and retired, Eddie still lives in New York. He did have cancer in 2004, but has been in remission for over a decade. He agreed to meet me to talk about Pierce. Although they've never met, Pierce's dad has always been a huge figure in his life. But what about Edelson? Was it a case of out of sight, out of mind? Does this mean as much to him as it does to Pierce? Hello, Edelson. It's Nicky Campbell here. Hey, I'm Nicky. How are you doing? Eddie. Eddie. How are you? Yeah, good. All right. So how are you? Great to see you. All right. Oh, God, it's, it's cold. Good. So OK. <laughs> Thank you. So you got the letter about Pierce. How are you feeling? Oh, there is no, no words in the dictionary there for the, to describe this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I never lost the hope to have the chance to see him. Mm. And so I'm so happy, you know what I mean? So you were working in nightclubs in the late 80s and you met Pierce's mother? Yes, she was amazing. I was in love, definitely. So what was your reaction when you found out that she was pregnant? Well, you know, you know I was surprised, you know, but I, I was happy. Oh, my God, I didn't want her to leave. I, would, I, I really wanted her to stay with me. But she missed her mother a lot, and so nothing I could do. I want her to be happy. I, mean, I, I knew she would not be happy if she stayed with me. So how long was it before you found out that you had a son? She, uh, she had the son, and she contacted me. Mm. I have a picture. <laughs> the only one, look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so his mother sent that to you? Yes, look how cute he is. He got a, a young hat. I showed that to all my friends. I was so proud, you know, I was so proud. When, when Pierce was six, he remembers you had sent him a birthday card and he remembers speaking to you on a payphone. Yeah, I remember. I really want to have contact with him, but his mother didn't want to have contact with me. I respected that. I cannot force her. Well, his, his, his mother is very supporting. She knows now. He has missed having you in his life so much. God, I would think about him every day. In 2004, I had cancer, you know. I did chemotherapy. And at least I have the feeling I, I, will, I, will see, I will meet him until, I don't know, before I die, you know what I mean? You were thinking about that when yes, you were ill? Yes, very much. I don't know what, if he's all right, if he's sick, if he's alive, or if, what happens to him. You know, if he needs help, oh God, I'll do good. I'll do the work. I'll do anything for him. <laughs> 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 
just, 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 just,